Uh, I was supposed to be looking at some schools that were available in Gary, Indiana mm, the mm. past couple of days, but something happened. And after I landed in Chicago, I got a word from the mayor's office in Gary that they wasn't able to get me access into the abandoned schools, which was quite disappointing because I spent my time and money to fly all the way up there mm -hmm. only to be told that at the last minute when mm -hmm. we had already agreed that this is what we were going to do. How is the school in Wilmington coming along? Yes. The reason I'm looking at schools now, although we're not completely done with the Honorable Marcus Garvey Reafricanization Society Academy in Wilmington, is I look at how long it took us to find that school. Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't mind having a cheap fixer upper if we can grab one, sit on it, hold it. And so once we get this school up and running, because once we're up and running, the demand is going to be very great for us mm. to replicate around the country and around the world. Mm -hmm. So I want to have that second school already in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. We can't do nothing with it now. Mm -hmm. But if we can just legally lay hold to it until we're ready to renovate it, that would be a good thing. Because I don't want us to lose time. We lost enough time with this process. So I don't want to lose time with the next school, wherever it's going to be. So I was looking at Gary, Indiana, Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, Detroit, Michigan, and Memphis, Tennessee, because those are four of our blackest cities in the country. As you know, I tried to get the first school in Detroit, and I was railroaded somewhat, railroaded in Chicago as well. Yeah, so Jackson, Mississippi has a school proposal process in place. So I will be going to Jackson, Mississippi to try to get a hold of one of those schools. You're a stupid dumbass.